Okay, now we still have dividing decimal models, but this one's different because we have my total that tells me how many I have to shade in. But then the second number, because it's a number smaller than one, this number tells me how many are in each group. And so the answer now will tell me how many groups there are. Where before, like when I did this problem, the answer told me how many were in the three groups. Okay, so we're going to start off by shading in one whole and eight tenths. Okay, now I have to count out three tenths and make a group. So instead of shading, I'm going to go ahead and grab a different color and make loops around my uh, my three tenths. Here are one, two, three, that's a group. One, two, three, that's a group. And you just continue to do it until you've run out. This is one, two, three. One, two, three and one, two, three. So my answer now becomes one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's six whole groups, which is weird because we're dividing, but when we divided, we actually got a larger number than what we started with. 